Hi, I'm Dr. Brian Hutchison, and what's the difference between using a Denerol or a supine traction device and using standing weights that we use with our patients from the product developer Halo? These standing weights are gonna help rehabilitate muscles because you're upright, you're in an engaged position, and the weights are pulling your spine into different positions, which is gonna help fire your multifidi, your rotators, your intertransversarii, your interspinalis, all of these real small muscles that have a higher percentage of proprioceptive fibers in relation to other skeletal muscle, like your biceps or your quadriceps, which are more for mobilizing and moving your body through space. While those smaller muscles that connect often just from one vertebra to another, or maybe they connect a few bones together, those ones are involved almost as an intermediary between muscles that move us through space and ligaments that help stabilize bones. When we do curve correction and we're doing it in an upright or standing position, we're really rehabilitating all of those small muscles and also bringing changes to the bigger global mobilizers as well. When you use a Denerol or a supine passive traction device in order to improve your cervical spine curve, it can provide significant benefit in many individuals. We find that it is good when, for example, you do not already have your lower neck too far forward. And if you've been watching the content that we've been producing, you'll see that in the 21st century, it's very common that people have their lower neck too far forward from technology, we've all been stuck forward and then our upper back comes up. And so our mid back thoracic spine is often in hyperextension in certain places and the lower neck's too far forward. So if you now lay on this Denerol, which we'll show you a picture of, it's gonna push your lower neck further forward. And often we found that many individuals do not get symptomatic relief or improvements in their overall condition. If somebody is up tall through their spine and their mid neck has fallen forward, well, this could be a good use case for a Denerol because you can have them lay on their back in a position where this device is going to be bringing their neck backward and producing a much more favorable cervical spine. An interesting thing though, is that when you're laying on your back in the supine position without any weight bearing kind of activity, we're not rehabilitating the musculature. You may be getting a stretch on your spine. You may be opening up the veins a bit or taking pressure off the carotid sheath, also improving cerebral spinal fluid flow, creating a little bit more space in the spinal canal while you're on the Denerol. However, we find that the Denerol on its own or by itself does not rehabilitate musculature, does not help you to hold the position very well when you're upright and moving around in space. I have seen a lot of the presentations and many of my colleagues do use the Denerol quite often. And it can produce results in helping with cervical curve correction and be a vital component of somebody's overall rehabilitation. What I've seen more often is that the Denerol, if you can confirm that it is not only improving the curve because we'll take an image on our DMX while you're using the Denerol to confirm that it's actually improving the curve, that C1 and the skull are not hitting together which could compromise a C1 nerve root and many people that use the Denerol end up not feeling great while they're using it or after it which is usually a sign that it's not right for you. The reason that we like to see how somebody feels while they're using it and after is because if they say, wow, doc, when I'm laying on the Denerol, I feel like a little bit weird in my head, a little bit worse head pressure, something here is irritating me, you're probably not benefiting the brain and neck connection. We've tested under high resolution ultrasound that when certain individuals used a Denerol, that it may have been improving the cervical spine curve, but C1 and C0 were hitting together. It was causing an increase in the middle cerebral artery or the brain blood pressure while they were using it. And for other individuals, it did help improve the brain blood pressure, also the curvature, and they felt good wearing it. So symptomatic changes while initiating therapy can be a pretty good indicator of whether or not that they're good for the individual. Just today, earlier today, we did dry needling to some musculotendinous junctions on one of our patients. And you would think, well, you just really irritated an area. I mean, you should feel worse, but the patient felt better after we got done 
because it was a therapy that was bringing integrity to the tissues that were damaged. And it's not always the case. You can have flare-ups after care, et cetera, but as a general rule of thumb, homework that you are doing at home should feel either not worse or you should only have a normal kind of a soreness from muscles changing, but you shouldn't feel like you're getting worse. We're really fond of doing upright cervical curve correction because I feel that it's so important to rehabilitate the muscles that support the spine. Because for example, every time that I've used a Denerol, I feel a gentle stretch, but I don't really feel my body change that significantly. And when I use the weight bearing spinal curve correction, I mean, I can really notice a difference. I've had times when I was having an incredibly busy day and I was feeling kind of a bit of brain fog starting near 4.30 p.m. Um, I felt kind of like almost like constipation and I was feeling really uncomfortable. And I put on the right combination of weights for me and got in the right position, which I had confirmed, opened up my internal jugular veins, took pressure off my carotid sheath, improved my cervical spine curve, and I was able to go to the bathroom within like five minutes. So taking that pressure off my vagus nerve, allowing the blood to drain, stimulating better cerebral spinal fluid flow, I mean, it was almost instantaneous that I felt relief from doing that. The standing weights or the upright weights are gonna be much more valuable at rehabilitating the musculature that tell your body where to be in space. So if you're rehabilitating the musculature when you're in an upright position, your body's gonna be much more prone or keen on remembering that as it moves throughout the day. So while supine passive traction can be a very useful component of an overall curve correction plan, we feel adamant that if you're not doing anything that's weight bearing, whether it be very specific exercises you're being taught in a gym or with resistance bands, or even just with body weight, or if you're using something like what we do, which is using spinal weights that have been shown to help change the curvature in the spine, this is a much more rapid way to create long-term change because right now, while I'm under this kind of attraction, my muscles are engaging to help pull me into this position and resist myself from falling into the wrong spot. So in order to hold the right posture, my muscles are rehabilitating my spine very rapidly while I'm using a standing weight bearing position. So to summarize, doing passive supine traction such as a denerol and doing active weight bearing curve correction such as the weights that we use in our office are not mutually exclusive. And we often will provide a patient or a client with both of them. However, we're very adamant on using an upright weight-bearing curve correction because it rehabilitates the muscles much quicker. You cannot rehabilitate your muscles just by laying on something and not engaging any muscles. So we really wanna get people back to doing things that they love, getting them back into the gym, going on walks, being able to work again, to do things with their family. And we believe and we see in our practice that getting you into weight-bearing postures that rehabilitate your cervical curve is one of the fastest ways to do that. So thank you so much for watching and more to come soon.